Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. Today is my good buddy Dom's birthday. Now that has nothing officially to do with the category today, which is no-brainer trivia, but even Dom should be able to do pretty good on this trivia quiz. Dom, I can't wait till lockdown's over and we get to hang out and celebrate your birthday in person. But until then, happy birthday, man, and good luck on today's trivia quiz. Question number one. Located in Venezuela and reaching almost as high as heaven, what is the name of the highest waterfall in the world? The answer is Angel Falls. Question number two. On a standard computer keyboard, what is the only vowel in the alphabet that is not located on the top line of keys? The answer is A. Question number three. Released on October 23rd, 1998 by Jive Records when she was only 16 years old, what was the title of Britney Spears' debut single? The answer is Baby One More Time. Question number four. Although it is not the capital of the country, what city is the largest in Switzerland with a population of almost double the next closest? The answer is Zurich. Question number five. The intense feelings often stem from negative past experiences and cause people who suffer from arachnophobia to have debilitating fears of what type of creature? Arachnophobia is fear of spiders. Question number six. Located in front of the lens and behind the cornea and surrounded by a fluid known as the aqueous humor, the colored part of the human eye that controls how much light passes through the pupil is called what? The answer is the iris. Question number seven. The English lyrics were written by Paul Anka. The original music was from a French pop song, but what artist first recorded I Did It My Way in 1969 and although it has been covered by dozens of artists since, will always be considered his signature tune. The answer is Frank Sinatra. Question number eight. What were the names of the two Saturday Night Live actors who appeared in the 1992 film Wayne's World as Wayne Campbell and Garth Algar? The answer is Mike Myers and Dana Carvey. Question number nine. 
the same substance as the horn of a rhino, what fibrous structural protein is the primary structural material in human hair and fingernails? The answer is keratin. Question number 10. Rounding the number to the nearest 1,000 miles, what is the diameter of the planet Earth measured at zero degrees latitude? The answer is roughly 8,000 miles. Question number 11. Along with the temporal bone of the skull, it is also one of the two strongest bones in the body. But what is the name of the longest and largest bone in the human body? The largest, longest, and one of the two strongest is the femur. Question number 12. Located in the southeastern part of the state that is located in the northeastern part of the country, what city in America is known as the City of Brotherly Love? The answer is Philadelphia, PA. Question number 13. In 1997, the first episode of what animated television show aired and as an instant success had some people close to the network saying that it single-handedly saved Comedy Central from bankruptcy? The answer is South Park. Question number 14. Name the Spanish painter and sculptor famous for co-founding the Cubist movement in the early 1900s along with Georges Brock. The answer is Pablo Picasso. Question number 15. Often resulting in anxiety among those affected, bad breath, also known by what scientific term, is a symptom in which a noticeably unpleasant breath odor is present? The scientific term for bad breath is halitosis. Question number 16. When the greatest basketball player to have ever lived, Michael Jordan, played for the Chicago Bulls, how many total NBA championships did he win along with Scottie Pippen? The answer is six. Question number 17. With a mass slightly greater than that of a proton and existing in the nuclei of an atom, what is the name of the particle with no electrical charge? The answer is a neutron. Question 18. Over the course of the show, Ross Geller, 
dates a considerable number of women, but how many different women does he marry and divorce on the popular TV show, Friends? The answer is three, Rachel, Emily, and Carol. Question 19. Now located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor within New York City, what country gifted the colossal copper neoclassical sculpture known as the Statue of Liberty to America in 1885? The answer is France. Question number 20. Which everyday people's car company owns the luxury lines of Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Porsche, and Ducati? The answer is Volkswagen. Alright, that is it for today. Thank you for watching episode number 418 of Road Trippia. Check back tomorrow. We will actually, I believe, be doing a brainy Tuesday on Monday because episode 420 will fall on Tuesday and that's going to be a special category, special quiz on that day. So we're going to do brainy Tuesday on a Monday, new quiz on Tuesday, and then we'll get back to the normal stuff following the rest of the week. We will have a new Trebek trivia and several other ones that we have not done yet. So stick with us all week. Watch the new trivia quizzes every day. Typically, they come out around noon Central Standard Time. I have been late before, and I will be late again. But noon is the gold time for when we're going to post these up. So thank you for watching. If you have any comments, any suggestions on either categories or the way that I do the trivia, the format, anything like that, feel free to email us at roadtrippia at gmail.com. We really appreciate you watching, but we are always trying to change, make it a little bit better, get a few more people in here, and appeal to a broader audience. So if you have any ideas, feel free to let us know at roadtrippia at gmail.com. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker. In the comics and cartoons, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles square off against mutated animals named Bebop and Rocksteady. But in the second movie, The Secret of the Ooze, what are the names of the two mutated creatures that they must fight? The answer is Toka and Razor. Also, if you got that one right, let me know in the comments below because you're the type of person that I could watch movies with. Thank you for watching today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hope you had a great weekend.